Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So for today's video, we are going to be doing our next paper versus pencil test. And we are gonna test it on the Disney Art Therapy paper. So um, I picked, this is the Hatchet Hero Babies. It's the Petite Squares book. I have written down all the pencils and then I'm just gonna check off yes, no, or maybe. And I picked a really cute page. We're gonna just... I picked this cute little Rue page. I thought that would be fun. We could color the flowers. So I'm gonna start, I have my Prismacolors out already because um, not every pencil fits in this pencil case. So I leave my Prismas because I use those the most, so I leave those out. So I'm going to pick two flowers. I'm gonna do a pink flower and a purple flower. So I'm gonna start at this top. Um, let's see, we need to zoom in. There we go. We're gonna start at the top right here with my PC928, this is the, and we are going to do a lot of pressure and then go lighter. And then we're going to do a lot of pressure and then go lighter. A lot of pressure and then go lighter. Same there. And there. Now we're going to do the purple. Okay, so they're very creamy. They're Prismas. They feel wonderful. But like I said, they feel wonderful on every paper. I really haven't found a paper I don't like them on. So, so let us... say we're gonna mark a yes for our prisma colors let's see we're gonna draw a line draw a line draw a line so prismas are a yes so we're gonna set those aside so now we're gonna start with the albert doers um i have those here the two colors I am going to use, I'm using the same colors every for every video, but I have Purple Violet and I have Pink Matter Lake. So I'm gonna start with the pink. So these are the Faber-Castell Albrecht Doers. I didn't really blend anything, did I? I gotta think of a blending. <laughs> Maybe we could do a two-toned flower instead of one pink and one purple. We'll do that. So I'm doing hard pressure and then going light. These feel nice on this paper. And they, they glide very nicely. I used these for the uh, first time in a book. You'll see those in my completed pages. I'm so excited. It turned out it made me want the full set. So I can totally see why, uh, who is it that uses these like totally? It's Shell. Shelly, Shell. Shell's coloring journey, I think it is, anyway. But yeah, so we're going to blend, blending them out. These feel amazing on this paper. These feel better than the, um, Prisma colors. So those are a definite yes. Albert Doers are a yes. Um, and I do have to say, I use my um, ink tents and my Neo Color 2s in these books, and they perform amazingly in these books. So, because I don't test those on here, but um, 
so you know they yeah they're amazing they uh i don't know what i was saying um yeah this paper takes water well i don't really use water though when i i use my tombow blender pens but you know okay next one moving along so we're not here all night and all day we are going to do the arctics if I can find them. I think these are them. No, those are not them. Oh, we'll do these. These are the polychromos. Very Crestel polychromos. I have pink, made made lake, and violet. Huh. Almost the same colors. That's funny. So we're gonna do these ones here and tell you how these oh yeah. These are nice. So heavy pressure to lighter pressure. So these are a yes. Now we're gonna blend, we'll do purple to pink. Well, this one doesn't feel as nice. This one feels more, not so glidey. I don't know. See, the pink feels like really nice. But the purple, yeah, not so much. I don't have my spreadsheet done. Um, I'm having a rough month. I'm not going to get into any detail. Um, so I'm very behind on everything. And so my spreadsheet for this that's supposed to be up on my website is not done. I should get that. It'll probably be next month by the time I get it done. So I'm going to put for the polychromos. I didn't like the way the purple felt. I'm going to put a maybe. All right. I was looking for Artix pencils. Let's see what we have going on over here. Not those. These are Arteza. We can do Artezas. The Arteza Experts. I found the Arctics. Well, I found the Artezas. So these are the Arteza Experts. We will do two flowers over here somewhere. Let's do this little one. Um, these feel good on here. They feel a little bit like the, um, like that one felt like the polychromo pink on here. Let's see. Oh, well, this one's way soft. So these are a definite yes. I need to f find my book from when I did this last time. So I don't think I have it written in my, um, see if my taste in the way pencils feel on paper has changed. These colors don't blend so well, but there we go. Bring the purple out a little bit more. So we're going to say yes for Arteza Experts. Put this aside. And um, give me one second. I'm going to see if I can find when I did the Disney paper last year. Okay, I found it. So I put the Arteza Experts as maybes. I didn't have the polychromos. And um, Prismas were, yes. So we've done those. Th uh, what else? Albert Doors, I didn't have those either. So the next one is the Arctics. I have these two. I have pink and Parma Violet. Let's see. We're going to come over here. Do this one. Um. I don't know. 
they're kind of scratchy, but that just could be this one. I have not opened my new set still. <laughs> Let's see, here's the purple. And yeah, no, it, the purple's not scratchy at all. I would use these in here. Let's see, what did I say about these? Uh, I didn't have these last time. So there we go. Blending test. Um, I would say yes. So I'm going to put a yes for the Arctics. So we have no no's so far. Um, Black Widows. I have Purple Haze and I have Nail Polish. We're going to have to do some that don't have the circles in the middle. I think. Yeah, so we're going to make a circle with this lovely pink. Let's see, so, oh, well, they glide. Um, and then we'll make a circle with the purple on this one. I'd say yes. I would say a yes for these. They're not my favorite, but they don't feel bad in this paper. And this is the petite square. So we might have to do different videos with different Disney papers. So I'm going to put a yes for the Black Widows. Next ones I have are the Brute Pruner 520s. Um, I have two colors here. I have Meadow Violet and Raspberry Rose. I hardly ever have a problem with these on any paper. Well, yeah, these are nice. This makes me want to put a no for the Black Widows after filling this. You would just have to layer with these. That's for sure. Blending test. These are nice. Um, they're smooth. They glide. They're not scratchy. Um, yeah, these are a definite yes. Next ones I have are the squares. Fruit Fritter squares. Here's the purple. Here's the pink. Um, this is a 111 and 14. They're in a different language, so I couldn't tell you what they say. These are the squares. Oh, I like these. Um, so far, next to Prismas, these would be the next best ones. Just saying. This makes me want to go back and put the Artix, the Arteza, the Black Widows as, as a no. But they I mean, they weren't awful. So those are a definite yes. And I'm going to put a heart next to those so we know I like those a lot. Next ones we have are the Castle Arts. To find them. Are them right? Yes. 
We've got Bengal Rose and Heather Purple. These are very, very, very glidey. They're smooth. That is for sure. definitely take layers but they feel good on the paper I used to not like coloring on this paper I, I guess I'm getting used to it I don't know so I'm putting a yes for that not my favorite but they're not bad next ones we have are the chroma flows Roma flows. Those are the skinnier ones. These are color soft. These must be Roma flows. Woo! Okay. So we have the colors Orchid and Lilac. We're going to go over to this one right here. We'll make our own little circle. These are the Chroma flows. Oh. Um, I really like these. These um, feel a lot like, these are creamy, like Prismas. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And I don't know if they're still on sale, but they were on a good sale. Got them, I got them last month. You guys can't hear that. My husband is hacking up a lung. He's probably brushing his teeth. He does that. I don't know why he does that. These are a definite yes. And I'm going to put a heart next to them because I like that. And then the chrome color soft is next. And I have pink lavender and bright lilac. Oh yeah, I like these. These are nice on this paper. These are the pencils that I need to use on this paper. You guys can see, right? Yeah. Yes, these are uh, soft. Um, I would say creamy and very glidey. <laughs> you like all my words? And they blend beautifully. Me and my purple pink flowers. I do have to say the pink is a little bit more creamy than the purple. I'm telling you, why can't they get consistency in these pencils? So I'm gonna put a heart next to the color shop so we know we like those a lot. That's not the right place. Putting pencils back in wrong places. That does not work out. Okay. Next we have Crayola. Good old Crayola. We've got ultraviolet and uh, tickle me pink. We're gonna do this one in the okay. If you have a hand issue, don't use these. 
I would say no. A very They're not glidey. They're kind of, you can hear it. They're kind of scratchy on this paper. So the Crayolas are a no. At the end of this paper test, we can find out which pencil is the most universal. So Crayola is our first no. Next we have Flow Wood. Those are right here. Um, these were recommended to me on somebody's channel, so I had to try them. They're not too bad. So I have 86 and 97. They don't have color names. So here we go. Oh no. These are definite. These are worse than the Crayola. I gotta finish out my test. I gotta do the blending test. These are a no. A no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't like these at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blowed is a no. Huh. All right. The Indra Pastels are my next ones. I've got the pink and the purple. I don't think there's no names or nothing on them. We're gonna do this one right here. We're gonna make a circle. Do you guys see that? Does that pencil look funny? Cover your ears. Oh, it's not working. My pencil sharpener is not working. I need to. Well, that helped. That was my Dell 133, just in case. And these are very, very creamy. These are nice and soft and glidey. These are the Indra Professional Color Set, the Creative. These are the pastel set. Um, I don't have the big pastels. I think, oh, I wanna think I had like, what? 15 colors or something. Maybe less than that. All right. These are a yes. So Indra Prestels are a yes. All right, next we have the Color 240s. Um, let's see, Color, we've got Pale Pink and Made in China. <laughs> Just kidding, that is not Color. This one is Light Wisteria. Pale Pink. Oh, well, they're they're very glidey. Um, they're not. I mean, they sound scratchy, but they don't really feel scratchy. I don't feel like I have to like. My hands aren't gonna like fall off when I color with them. I would say yes. I said maybe on these last time. I, I did a lot of maybes. I'll have to show it to you. We will compare them at the end of my little 
um, chart. I didn't blend very well. Um, I'm gonna say yes. I think I need to get rid of my maybe column. Light fast. Well, light fast is the one I don't have the right colors. So we are going to do a blue and a green flower. We're gonna color some of the spirals on his shirt. So here we go. We've got, this is light fast, yeah, Dermot light fast. This is the ultramarine. I like these. This one is the grass green. The shirt is blue, though, really, not green. But that's okay. It's gonna have a blue and a green shirt. Um, these are definite, yes. So light fast is a yes. We're not blending. Sorry. Hope that didn't disappoint too many of you. Uh, the next is the Luminance, the Karen Dash Luminance, and I've got, um, if I could read it, I have no idea, some kind of a purple and ultramarine pink, here we go. Karen Dash Luminance. Um, no. Um, this is, they are not, nope. Nope. These are a no on this paper. It's that, no, these are just flat out scratchy on this paper. I will have to tell you, I am, um, after using these lovely pencils, because on that paper I used almost all of these fancy sets of pencils. I like the light fast better than the luminance. This is a no. Okay, luminance is a no. Next we have our mark art. And this is a mark art pencil. And do they have color names on them? No, just numbers. This is 12 and this is 53. 12. I don't know. I have these as a yes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. They're scratchy. And the last time I did this test, I did it in one of the large square books, not the small squares. So, I don't know. They're a different paper. I don't think they are, though. All right, Mondo Llamas. Mondo Llama. We've got number nothing and nothing because these have nothing on them except for their name. I named, I numbered them myself. So here goes the pink. Believe it or not, I like these. These are the Target brand in the United States. Mondo Llama. They glide. Um, they're smooth. They're not creamy. They, um, though, um, they're definitely a harder pencil. So there would be a layering pencil. 
So those of you who have hand issues, I would put a no if I were you. Um, but I'm putting a yes. And then next, we have polychromos. No, we already did polychromos, didn't we? Yes, and I said maybe. The Spear Farbins. Spear Farbin. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Here we have pink bubblegum and French lavender. I'm going to make a circle right here. Sorry. Well, this is a yes so far. They're very glidey. Um, they're almost creamy. They're smooth. They're not quite creamy like the Chroma Flows and the uh, Prisma colors. But I like them. I do, I do. Those were beautiful. That was our yes. Okay, well, the last two sets we are the Star Joys. So we have the regular Star Joys, and then we have the Star Joy Gold. So we're gonna start with the regular Star Joys. We're gonna go to these over here. We have the first one we have is Grenadine. Oh, I like these. I like these. I'm doing opposite. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. That's kind of fun. I'm going to have one different flower in here out, out of all of them. But then I only have to color one flower. Those are a definite yes. Now we have um, Destiny Pink. These are the golds. Oh. Um, it's that weird feeling with these. Like I can't get I don't know. I don't like the way they're feeling. Oh, uh, I do not. But this one doesn't feel as bad as the pink one. Huh. I'm going to say no for those. Um, poly, yeah. They are no. Okay. So, let's see. So here is our beautiful picture. I'm gonna put these away. I'll zoom back out. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. Look at he's almost ready. And so we'll just do the blue and the green and then color him and color some more flowers. And do the middles of the flowers. And then um I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna color all those flowers. He won't be finished this month though, because I am extremely, 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 extremely behind. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. So unfortunate. I am, yeah. So I'm filming today, and I probably shouldn't be. Um, I know I said it earlier, it's been rough, but I don't want to get into it, but, um, yeah. Okay, we're going to compare notes here. Okay. Woo! We're flying in the wind. 
All right, so here we have today's is over here. This is last year. So um, I did it. Um, I'm going to pull it out. I have it right here. So you guys could see the one we did last year. Um, there is a, we did this. And so I colored the arrows with all different pencils. And, um, and that is in this book, Disney Mandala. See, it's the large square. And the paper feels the same. So anyway, so I guess this is me growing up and using different pencils. I don't know. So last year, um, my yeses were Mark Arts, Castle Arts, Brute Furniture Squares, and Prismas. That was it. My definite no's were my Crayolas and my Calor 180 set. I'm not testing those. Um, I am Those I am not keeping, so I'm not testing those. Actually, I am keeping them. They are my set when I have visitors. Um, like those two nieces I had, they used those because, you know, they want to use my fun pencils. They don't want to just use Crayola. So those, that's what those are. And then for maybes, I did Star Joys, my Boot Printer 520s, my Color Softs, Black Widows, Arteza Experts, and my Color 240 set. So I said no on Crayola. I still said no on Crayola here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I have a no on Flow Woods, on Luminance, Mark Arts, and yeah, I said no on Mark Arts, and I said yes on Mark Arts. Interesting. And my Star Joy Golds were a no. And then Polychromos, I'm gonna just, since I said maybe, I'm gonna make it a no. But yes on everything else. So Abic Doors, Arctics, Arteza Experts, Black Widows, Brute Furner, 520, Brute Furner Squares. I'm not going to keep saying it. You guys can read it. And then I liked the squares, the Chroma Flows, and the Color Softs the best. And my Prismas, of course. Put a heart by the Prismas. So, yeah. Um, I know in my past few videos, I have written in the description box below the yeses and the noes. Um... I'm probably not going to do that because I'm going to get that spreadsheet out and it's going to be on my website. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked out my website, you should. It's DisneyMegsColoring.com. Um, yeah, um, it's going to be there for resources and you know, my challenges and prompts and all those fun things. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've checked out my website and what you think. And then also, I know I say this every time, but um, I'm making a list. So let me know if there are any pencils you, that I do not have that you would like me to uh, test out on the different papers. Um, yeah, I have a list. I know the um, Amazon Basics was one. Um, I need to get a hold of those. Um, cannot remember the rest of them that you guys have asked about but yeah so oh the um Karen Dash Pablo's I need to order like three pencils a couple pencils they didn't have them at the Blick store um I am going to uh on another trip in June um my birthday month yay um I am going on another trip and we are passing through Sacramento and um, they have a Blick store in Sacramento. So I might, if I can talk my husband, I'm going with my husband and my dad, if I can talk them into it, I am going to go. And I will try to do, um, without getting caught, I don't know if I'm allowed, video my way through the store. Um, I know some of you said you would love to see what a Blick store looks like. so. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I guess my goal in life is when I travel is to find the nearest. I like to find the art stores. And I'll share them with you when I find them. Anyway. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And the thumbs up that you like it. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah. Um, 
don't forget to comment down below, um, especially on pencils that you would like me to try. Or I also would love to know if you have checked out my website and what you think. And yeah, I look, I love making these videos for you. I look forward to, uh, and talking to you all. I look forward to talking to you all again real soon. Oh, and the next paper we are going to test, um, is Ooh. I think we're going to do um, Creative Haven paper. We're going to do Creative Haven paper next. So um, I will write that down so we know. Um, yes, and also in the comments below, uh, if there's specific papers you would like me to test too. If my these are helping, I don't know. I might be just doing this for me, but I'm having fun. Anyway, I talk to you all again real soon.